Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you three methods to help you upgrade motherboard and CPU without reinstalling Windows. Just come and take a look. Part one: Upgrade motherboard and CPU without reinstalling Windows via Windows Utility. Part two: Upgrade motherboard and CPU without reinstalling Windows. Via the easiest way, upgrading motherboard and CPU could bring your PC faster speed, better performance, and the support for the latest components. But it also has a problem: you have to reinstall or activate those installed programs, retrieve personal files, reconfigure system settings, and so on. Therefore, I bring you three methods here. To help you successfully upgrade motherboard and CPU without reinstalling Windows, before you start to upgrade, it is suggested to turn to this previous video to see if Windows will be activated after upgrading with different types of Windows license key. Just keep watching. The first method is to edit registry. Before replacing motherboard and CPU. You need to change this key in registry because it has been replaced by Store AHCI in these systems. As you may know, modifying registry improperly may result in serious issue. So you better create a full system image backup beforehand. Next, you should link your Windows account to a Microsoft account so you can reactivate your Windows after upgrading motherboard and CPU. Click Start, and click Settings. Then choose Update and Security. Next, click Activation in the left panel. Click Add an Account in the right panel, and sign in with your Microsoft account. After that. Press Windows at R keys to open the brown box. Type Rigidit, and then press Enter. At the interface of Registry Editor, please navigate to this key. At the right pane, double-click Start and change its value to zero. Then also change this key's value data to zero. Now save the changes and exit. Finally. Shut down the computer and replace the hardware. Then you should be able to boot Windows successfully. After starting the PC, you may need to reactivate Windows after upgrading motherboard. Just follow the steps below to make it. Windows Seven will most likely reactivate by itself, so there is nothing to worry about. Let's click activation. And click Troubleshoot. And click I changed hardware on this device recently. Sign in your Microsoft account again. Then it will grab the activation key from your online Microsoft account. This method will also work. When you want to move hard drive to a new computer without reinstalling Windows, I know there are some users who forget to edit registry before upgrading motherboard and CPU, and resulting in boot failure. In this case, you need to turn to method two. Method two is edit registry offline. In this method, all you need to do is to prepare an installation disk and start your computer from it. 
then modify the registry. Here we go. Start your computer from installation disk and enter BIOS. Set the disk as the first to boot option. Save the changes and restart. Go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, click Command Prompt. Type Rigidit and press Enter to open Registry Editor. Click this key and click File and Load Hive. Then go to the system drive and open System File. Usually the path is C Drive, Windows, System32. Config System Type a key name, here we type offline. And click OK to save it. Go to the following keys in order and set the start value of them to zero. Click the offline key, then choose file and unload hive to write back the changes you made. Now close it and restart your computer to change the file settings, remove the disk, and then you can run your computer as normal. Sometimes Windows 10 won't boot after motherboard upgrade. The most common reason may be the wrong boot mod. For example, the original motherboard used legacy BIOS, while the boot mod of the new motherboard is UEFI. So you need to change the boot mod after upgrading. Above are the two methods within Windows. If you are looking for the easiest way to upgrade without installing, you can totally try this powerful tool on my backupper. It guarantees that your computer can successfully boot without changing any settings. Just Google Ami Backupper, download and install it. Let's see method 3. Run Ami Backupper to come to its home page. Click System Backup under Backup tab. It will automatically select needed items as the backup source. Select the target path for your backup. Then click Star Backup. Next, let's create a bootable media in advance. Click Tools and click Create Bootable Media. You can also click Recovery Environment to enable the boot option of Ami Backupper. It also allows you to boot into Windows PE and perform backup and restore. Shut down your computer and boot from the media you just created. Then it will load the main interface of Ami Backupper. Click Restore and select Task or Select Image File to select the backup created before. Now you can choose to restore this system backup or restore a partition in this system backup. Just choose one according to your needs. Remember to check the option Universal Restore. Finally, click Star Restore. This method can also be used to transfer OS from one computer to another with dissimilar hardware. Alright, three methods are provided above. Just choose one according to your situation. Hope this video can help you out. Want to know more about Aomi? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. We are here to help you with any questions.